Yesterday I posted a video about comparing my a7 III against Blackmagic uh, Pocket Cinema Camera 4K and my result was that the full frame sensor gave a better dynamic range and I didn't find that the color was so much more into the Blackmagic um, Pocket Cinema Camera rather than a7 III. So my results were that secondary priorities for me are the portability, the ease of use to put it on gimbal easily and put it in your hand afterwards and so on. So a7 III was a big winner, but I was all wrong. I got it all wrong. Today I found out what I was doing wrong and how to actually color grade correctly the Blackmagic RAW in Premiere Pro and I thought that I would share it with you as well because maybe you're struggling with the same question. I, I didn't know how to do that and now I found out so maybe we benefit from this video. So let's jump into the computer. All the footages can be downloaded from the links in the description so you can test it yourself. Let's open the same project like yesterday. So as you remember, I had uh, two uh, versions. Teal is the Sony and the brown one is Blackmagic for the two tests, the underexposed test and the overexposed test. The third one we will be ignoring as of now. If you can see, the Sony footage was graded like this and I was quite happy with this result. The highlights if you can see and the lamp is not overexposed. I could recover some of my skin. It was all fine that I was satisfied with this. Let's check the black magic. I put a Lumetri color and started grading it and this is wrong way to do that because when you need to fix your exposure to black magic footage you don't do that way and let me demonstrate why if you select the clip go to the lumetri and start raising shadows in the curve you can see that uh, the details are not being recovered so basically what's happening is that it's raising the uh, black levels and that's not what we want what we actually want is go to the metadata or or the clip data and start recovering things from here. You just adjust the exposure. You can see what's happening. Now it doesn't become a uh, faded black, but the shadows are actually, there is information in it. And this is what I was missing. If you click use video black level, then the shadows will become black. And now you can see that we have the face recovered and then raise it from the midpoints. And here you can see what's happening, that it's actually raising the shadows, right? So we can see the detail into the, into the blacks, which is great. This is what I was missing out. Then if you want to add uh, saturation, you will be adding it from here, not from on top of the clip. Because this, what it does basically is that it's grading the clip and the lumetri is on top of it so it can't reach the information which is buried into the raw and that was the trick here which i missed yesterday and this is the correct way to grade you can just simply you know, change the color temperature and everything from here and once you uh, color correct it in in the metadata then you can go to the lumetri select the clip and just put creative effects what you would like with colors and so on but to recover the information it has to be done from the black magic row settings and this was the trick now i'm and and what i also saw in my test is that the dynamic range is bigger with black magic even though it's a micro four third sensor which was mind-blowing now first i thought that the sony was better because of course it's a full frame uh, sensor but yeah, this is why a lot of people praise Blackmagic and now I understand that. Now I'm gonna be considering using it as a first camera in my upcoming shoots. Which is great, because this is what I wanted to test and hope you learn something new from this video. Please put a like on this video, it would help a lot and thanks for watching, see you in the next one.